Paris Saint-Germain have confirmed that Maurizio Pochettino has left the club after 18 months in charge. His exit had been expected despite winning the Gun last season. He's been replaced by the former St Etienne, Lille and Nice boss, Christian Gaultier, who addressed the media this afternoon. He insists he can manage the big personalities in the squad. Qui veulent prendre du plaisir. Évidemment que je vais beaucoup échanger avec l'ensemble des joueurs. J'ai rencontré des vestiaires où il y avait beaucoup, beaucoup, beaucoup d'ego aussi. Et je pense que la gestion d'un groupe, et c'est un privilège d'avoir un effectif de ce niveau-là avec des joueurs de classe mondiale, c'est un privilège pour un entraîneur. Je pense que la première des choses, c'est d'échanger, de partager avec eux, mais aussi d'imposer d'imposer, il n'y aura pas de compromis dans ce que doit être la force du groupe. Parce que par rapport aux, aux objectifs qui sont définis, on doit avoir un projet commun sans aucun compromis. Euh, je ne vais pas révo révolutionner le vestiaire. Je vais observer, écouter. Et euh, je sais que j'aurai l'appui de tout le monde, de la direction, pour prendre les décisions que je devrais prendre à partir du moment où un joueur, et quel que soit le joueur, ne se pliera pas à ce qui est le projet. Et je le répète encore une fois, il n'y aura aucun compromis là-dedans. OK, let's get more on this then. We're joined by the French football expert Jonathan Johnson. Good afternoon to you, Jonathan. Look. Just firstly, how will PSG fans see this? Will they be sorry to see Pochettino go? They won't be sorry to see Pochettino go, but I do think that there will be a, a mixed reception among PSG fans. Some are obviously expecting Zinedine Zidane. Uh, others will be happy uh, with Galtier coming in and being a fresh, breath of fresh air. Uh, you know, given that he took uh, you know quite a, a no-nonsense stance in uh, in his opening press conference, and I think the fact that he's unwilling. Uh, you know, to, to budge on certain principles, notably everyone buying into the project uh, and essentially behaving themselves, uh, you know, I think has won over a lot of uh, people early on. OK, uh, I'm going to get to Gaultier in just a minute. Let's stick with Pochettino then. Obviously, Manchester United no longer open to him, but where might he go next? I definitely think a uh, return to the Premier League makes a lot of sense uh, for Pochettino, uh, especially with his family still based in the country as well. Uh, and I, I think it's where his stock is highest as well. Obviously, he has coached in Spain before uh, and is thought of highly there as well. Uh, there was some interest uh, from Athletic Club, uh, I believe, uh, recently. But it's, uh, you know, I think logical uh, as a next landing point for him in the Premier League. It's just a question of which position might open up uh, now that he's missed that shot at Old Trafford. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what happens to him. Um, look, you mentioned Gaultier there. You said he had this no-nonsense approach in his first press conference. Um, obviously, Lee Gunn doesn't cut it, does it, for PSG? So can he finally bring the Champions League to them? Ligue 1 alone doesn't cut it for PSG, no, but PSG themselves haven't actually dominated uh, the domestic scene for the last couple of years now. That's one of the criticisms of Pochettino. Uh, and I think that Galtier is as close as a guarantee uh, as you can find for that. And I think returning to that, they will bring the level of seriousness that many people feel is required for PSG to actually get themselves back to challenging for the Champions League. We saw them do it very briefly uh, under Thomas Tuchel. Uh, and the hope is that Galtier will will be able to, to get them back there. Of course, Pochettino did lead PSG to a Champions League semi-final before they got knocked mm. out by Manchester City. Uh, and there are question marks over Galtier and the fact that he doesn't have as much Champions League experience uh, as other coaches who have come before him. Yeah, and I was interested to hear him say that he can handle the big personalities. What about Neymar then? Do you see him going? It's a good question, and I think uh, you know it's one that Gatier was asked to field in the in the press conference, uh, and it's probably something that will rumble on throughout the summer. But Gatier was very clear in the fact that if. Neymar wants to be part of a serious project that is looking to bring the success that PSG crave, uh, then he's open to, to Neymar staying and being part of that. But it has to be uh, you know, on his terms and, uh, and not on the players. So the fact that you've got a number uh, of uh, important players returning to pre-season training ahead of schedule, uh, you know, I think is a good sign. Many of them very keen uh, you know, to, to meet the new management team, Luis Campos as well, the recruitment chief who, who's now in charge as well. So I think that it's it, it bodes well that there it seems to be 
uh, it's something that's being well received, uh, you know, this, this level of seriousness at the top of the club. It's interesting you mentioned the fact that players are turning up to pre-season training. One player that hasn't done that is, of course, Cristiano Ronaldo for Manchester United just yet. Um, question, could he, could he potentially go to PSG, do you think? A team up with, of course, one of his great rivals? I think this is a topic that has been discussed uh, a number of times over the years. Uh, I think if it was last summer, uh, you know, anything seemed possible last summer. Uh, I'm not sure now that I can see Ronaldo coming in really fitting with the, the project that PSG have. I think they already have an abundance of superstar names, and it's more a question about either getting the best out of them or potentially trying to move them on rather than adding another one to the mix. Uh, you know, in the past, I'm sure PSG would have been interested by Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo, but I don't think he is, uh, you know, seen as a sort of guarantee of Champions League success that he once was, uh, you know, and if Lionel Messi can't be held up as that, then I don't think that there will be uh, a preference uh, for Ronaldo, given the, the change of direction that PSG are pursuing this summer. OK, thanks for your thoughts, Jonathan.